What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Gaming with the Wolfpack. And in this episode of 7 Days to Die, I'm going to be showing you simple starter base ideas. Um, so this was my very first starter base. It was at the uh, farm, which the farm is located, um, hold on, let me get a accurate, 890 north 7 uh 40 794 east when you first get here there's a lot of zombies um i will add but in my uh defense i do think that it's a great uh starter base because if we look back at the map um there's a water source right here there's a town um not so far from here there's also a trader if I can find him uh, where is it where is it okay yeah there's a trader right here he's not that far away um, from it I would say not that far away from it um, so yeah there's a lot of supplies you know here there's a lot of um, food as you can see the corn everywhere there's a lot of that uh, I you can see I have picked a little bit of this field not that much of it though um, so yeah I after I decided that this was my base um, I immediately build a tunnel and I made inside here there was uh, if you come up here first of all before I get to my tunnel come up here there's a duffel bag and nest uh, and a cooler inside this bag or whatnot I found a um, okay pretty cool pretty cool but inside that bag I found guns so you know first seventh day was pretty easy because of that gun and there's also this guy in the corner um, and so yeah after I searched everything or whatnot then I started to build my uh, tunnel underground I would say you want to get your tunnel to look pretty decent you know ours um, we didn't stay here for long so we didn't really have time to make our tunnel look how we wanted it um, but I would say you know make your tunnel look pretty decent and then that was the only way in um, that we got there is two uh, there's another way out just in case we got ran down there are two uh, walls first wall is a little stronger than the other and then after that there is these metal doors um, just another defenses we broke down all the windows for exits and also just in case they somehow got through all of those um, both of those walls we could uh, easily kill them before they get inside so yeah, another thing, we also had um, this nice guy, just in case, again, they get inside somehow. Um, we actually built this first, and then we survived the first seventh day with just this. So it just wrapped around the whole building. Um, and then for the third, or the second, seventh day, I think we lived here like twice. But for the second seventh day, I just built this um, all the way up to the roof. One, because it takes zombies forever to get up here. Especially through all of those defenses. Um, and two, you can see all of them. We found a sniper, so it was very nice for us to be up here. Uh, then... Oh, I'm sensed. That's nice. Um, 
then after that we kind of realized you know it's once we build that third or that second uh wall right here we built this um all the way around just so we can be able to reach the zombies be able to kill them um and then as you can see we build those spikes and uh see if i can get down there without dying or uh whatever sweet okay so this right here um it's only 200 uh the damage and i mean you can continue to upgrade them with uh iron and stuff like that but we did that because these little guys and these even though they don't take you know that much to break it's only 33 and hold on that was the grass that was definitely okay so 33 and 200 but they cut the um, zombies legs off so that's what these were for so eventually you know we didn't really need to um, shoot at all you know eventually uh, they died themselves and then we would just have to come out and as you can see rebuild um, we moved after the third day once we got everything built because of the fact that you know it got a little too easy so yeah that would happen um, and sometimes they would do that and actually crawl on top of it which was kind of redundant you know we didn't really want that to happen but if it happens you know we can't so yeah this is our first base the um we did notice that you know it took a lot of light to uh So we'd be able to see in there it took a whole bunch of light um, which fire draws screamers so we had to um, move eventually you know just to make the game a little bit more fun um, you don't really want to stay in the same spot forever that would kind of get boring but uh, we definitely would have worked on building the inside of the house Oh, I didn't take y'all around on the inside. So yeah, one way in. The zombies could get caught down here. But, you know... That's literally a one way... One tunnel. Like, they don't have anywhere else to move, so... And then... In the inside, every window was broken, so we had all had ways out. You know, this nice kitchen or whatnot, the back door. Um, they had this underground little bunker thing. Well, not this is what we kept our guns and stuff in. Um. And then upstairs, this is one of our bedrooms, this is another one right here. And each each bedroom accesses one of these bridges um, almost immediately. So each bedroom literally has a window where you can see a bridge um, just for ways out, you know, just in case they would have got in. But as y'all can see from the outside, there was literally no way for them to get in. They would have been just, you know, out there like they are now, just forever. Um, oh, and this was another way out right here. We, you know, again, accessed by a bridge. So yeah, after this guy, we moved on this guy um so this base is 
uh, already fortified as you can see it great there's a dog oh okay he's right there okay great all right um if I was rudely interrupted this base um, it has gun shack which there was a bunch of guns in there once you get in there but um I will say when I first got in there uh, as soon as you open this door it's bombs all throughout of here there was three bombs everywhere um so oh wow more guns more gun parts but yeah this the floor was covered in bombs these weren't here we put that there uh, I'm trying to see if our visitors are still out here so um you know it's a great starter base it's great we didn't stay here for long because this started happening at the back and it was just too constant um but if you start to fortify this up and you know this side right here is pretty strong already the um front is pretty strong already it's just this back side right here that was not so strong that's literally the only side that's like this so um where is it it is 1075 south 478 west and uh yeah if you can get here um it's great starter base i will say though however oh, that is um not filled of water I just wanted to let you guys know. Um, oh. Okay, come on. Come on, Casper. Come on, you idiot. Oh. Okay, come on. Come on, I'm right here. What? Yeah, that weird thing also happens like you know the dogs it's, it is a lot of dogs but they're stupid like that like it's gonna take him forever to even get to me and as you can see they're pretty easy to kill it only took me three hits um I would say that was the only issue you know with it's being run down with so many zombies but once you place your bedroll, the zombies just disappear. Um, but that's anywhere. So it had these. Nice uh, gun towers. And um, like I said, we didn't really stay here for very long. So we didn't really see the need to continue to build it up. But we would have connected all of these all the way around. Um, I just think that would have been a great idea to do. Uh, you know, you could have built it up. You could. We were starting to um, build a, a fence around it, just like you saw in my first one. We're going to start to do that, but way too many. Um, you know, it, it just was a lot of bombs. I'm just going to let you know in this area, it's a lot of bombs. Um, and we knew we weren't going to really stay here for long. This was, again, a good starter base so that we could save up enough wood and enough uh, materials for our third base. Um, the reason why we're moving so much is because we're going to live in each biome and then pick which one is the best. And I'll let you guys know which one we think is the best biome. So this one, it came with a lot of food in that market right there, a lot of guns. Um, there was a chemi chemistry station here already and a workbench here already. Um, no water, unfortunately. Another thing that was kind of like, eh, you know, about this place is it's 
really scarce on food. Um. Oh wow, she's come. She's really coming up here. Uh. So. It was a water source right here. There's a. Um. This is a trader, I'm believing. Yeah, a trader right here, so it's a lot closer than the farm. Um, and the deserts right here, there was a lot of loot in here. And there's also a lot of treasures here in the desert. There's a little small town right here. Um, there's also a town right here. So, just to show you how close everything is, there's a lot of... Um, great food or whatnot. You find out that um, here, I know we found out that cactuses give you water and they give you um, uh, yuck something. They give you water and they give you food. So, as you can see off in the distance, I don't know if y'all can really tell, but right there, there's a uh, cactus. So, the desert is pretty close. Um, to everything we I have it right now on uh, you know as many zombies as possible being spawned in the world that's why there's so many zombies here but when you first get here as soon as you place your bed they pretty much disappear so and then after that then you have to go find them so uh, it's pretty good on that um, the seventh day that we spent here we did not have to do anything the entire seventh day, uh, to be honest, because they couldn't get in. Um, you know, we made it a little bit more fun and went outside and started killing them ourselves, but you had to go outside to do that. They couldn't get in anywhere um, because it's already fortified, so it's nice, it's fortified. And here's another way out. I thought that was pretty cool because, you know, if you were being attacked, obviously this small little horde, they can't really get up here. So, there's a dog still right there. I'm going to get over to my bike and I will meet you guys at the next house. Well, what was taking you so long? <laughs> so, um... Anyways, that brings me to number three on our list. Um, so, if you were wondering, uh, this guy, if I can close, if I can close it, if you're going to close it, thank you. Okay, so this that I have around our base right here um, is pretty much literally all you need around your base because um, for some reason the zombies can't get in and they can't break it it's just um, wooden plates and wooden wedge tips if I can find those guys wooden wedge tips yeah and here, let me craft it for you guys real quick. So, all you do is, uh, literally what it looks like. Place one, and then place the other on top. Why aren't you working? Oh, yeah, I almost had you. Okay. Like that. Um, and I place that all the way around so during the hordes and stuff uh, we just went through a day 56 horde and it was pretty much a piece of cake because they couldn't touch us um, only thing though in this corner right here they can't touch you and sometimes they do glitch in because I guess obviously this wouldn't really be touching um, bears However, can get in here, and somehow I'm 
not for sure how, but uh, and police zombies, if they blow up near here, they break it. So those are the only things that breaks the uh, structure. But what makes this place so fantastic? As you can see, there's nothing fantastic about here, but it is this guy. So when you first come um, to this location, which is eighty five south or yep okay so eighty five south or eighty seven south um eleven sixty four west and this guy it's gonna be three of these or four of these guys all in a row pretty much protecting this kind of making it look like uh, it's just nothing but if you break it which will take you a while so like I was saying um, once you break through this it's not you know it takes like a thousand to get through so you will be here for a minute but once you get through here there is an underground bunker um, this is not here we put that there um, but it's underground bunker this 3000 to get through so if you're playing on PlayStation they can't dig um, if you're playing on PC however you do have the up-to-date version <laughs> so they do dig uh, so I would recommend refortifying up this um, but it comes with you know we put our furnace right here uh, This is a room. It comes with this guy right here. This guy had a lot of guns in it. Um, this is just a couple of our guns. We put that safe there. The lockers were filled with clothes. I don't know how important that is to you guys, but um, there's a lot of coolers. They were filled with drinks and stuff. That was ours. Uh, one of these guys were also here. This was already in this room, um, at least for us anyways. The bookshelf, we found... Uh, mini bike books we didn't really need them but um, they were there so yeah that includes my video hope you guys liked it leave a comment let me know what you think till next time MIW Gamer Wolves out